In this video, we're going to be multiplying negative 358.1 times 7.053. 358.1 has 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers in it, and 7.053 has 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers in it, so it doesn't really matter which number I put at the top. I'm going to go ahead and put 358.1 at the top, and then I'm multiplying that by 7.053 and you'll notice it doesn't matter if I line up the decimals when I'm multiplying or dividing it only matters that you line up the decimals when you're adding and subtracting. I'm going to go ahead and switch colors because I have to start by multiplying each of these numbers at the top by 3. 1 times 3 is 3, 8 times 3 is 24, I carry the 2, 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. And then I'm going to add the 0 for the next um, section to hold the place value. Now I'm going to be multiplying all the numbers at the top by 5. 1 times 5 is 5. 8 times 5 is 40. I put a 0 here, carry the 4. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 4 is 29. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 is 17. And then I need to put two zeros on the next line to hold the place value. Let's see what will show up. Let's try red now. Okay, now I'm going to be multiplying all these numbers at the top by 0. So 1 times 0 is 0, 8 times 0 is 0, 5 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 0 is 0. Then I need 1, 2, 3 zeros on the next line. And then I'm going to be multiplying all the numbers at the top times 7. 1 times 7 is 7. 8 times 7 is 56. Carry the 5. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 5 is 40. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 4 is 25. And now we just need to add these numbers together. 3 and 0, 0, 0 is 3. The sum of 5 and 4 and 0 and 0 is 9. 7 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 7. 9 plus 7 is 16. Carry the 1. 7 and 6 is 13. And then plus 2 more gives me 15. I carry the 1. 1 and 1 makes 2. 5 and nothing, we bring down the 5. 2 and nothing, we bring down the 2. And then next. Let's see, I think this will probably show up the best. We need to count the number of decimal places. We have one decimal place here, and then one, two, three decimal places here for a total of four decimal places. So I need to move the decimal over once, twice, three times, four times, and it ends up between the five and the six. Mm -hmm. Now, think about it. A negative times a positive is a negative. So my answer is going to be negative. 2,525, and then the decimal portion is going to be this 6793. 6793. So remember that these, the rules that we've been applying to integers, you know, a negative times a positive gives you a negative, those multiplication division rules also apply to decimals and to fractions.